I'm uh, Kyle Dixon. I'm an orthopedic surgeon. I've uh, been out in practice for almost uh, 20 years. The proximal portion of the nail offers three screw holes. One is elongated to provide compression as well as other static locking capabilities, which will be explained in this video. The other two holes are static locking holes. These are threaded to enhance the stability of the tibial nail and to prevent screw back out. The Herzog bend in the nail is an industry standard 10 degrees. The distal portion of the nail also offers three holes, two medial to lateral and one AP. The AP hole is threaded. Distally, there's three screws and there's, there's no nail on the market that increases your length of tibia fractures that you can fix. And so my indication for uh, fixing you know, a tibia fracture with a nail is any fracture that's below the tibial tubercle and basically 13 middle, millimeters above the plafond. So I know that I've stretched that indication, but I always look at a tibia fracture and say, how can I nail it? Because the literature is clear that that's the most reliable way of uh, fixing these tibia fractures. So if I have 13 millimeters of uh, distal bone, I know I can get two screws in that. And so the idea of having one of the screws down distally with some threads in it allows me to just to put two holes in it. It's not an ideal situation because maybe that third one is above the fracture line, but at least having one of them threaded and one of them without threading will give you essentially the same thing as, uh, as three screws. One of the questions you'll get seemingly every time you show this nail, the surgeon will ask, what is the distance from the distal hole to the tip of the nail? That distance is five millimeters. And that short distance is very important for all of the reasons that Dr. Dixon previously explained. There is also a three degree anterior bend at the distal portion of the nail. We won't go through detailed instrumentation in this video, but rather give you some pearls of the instrumentation to show a surgeon during a demo. These locking collets are designed to thread into the jig and they hold the sheath and trocar in place so that it doesn't slide out. If the locking collets are not desired, the sheath and trocar can still be used through the jig without them. We know in humerus fractures and tibia fractures they do not tolerate a gap at all. And so the idea is that you can fix it distally you know, seat the nail down a little bit, but the idea is then add compression slash apposition to bring the fracture closer together, and really that enhances healing. There is a threaded insert that uh, both you can end up putting a, a screw in proximally at the very proximal hole. So you can have two screws proximally at a very high fracture line. So there's a cases where you get a fracture line right below the tibial tubercle that angles up posteriorly. This still allows you to put two screws in proximally and get good fixation with one of them being you know, threaded and the other being locked with that threaded component. When using the gold sleeve, it is inserted into the proximal end of the nail using a hex driver prior to loading the nail onto the jig. Alternatively, the black spacer can be used proximal to the cortical screw that has been compressed or can be used as a spacer proximal to the screw to create a static hole low in that elongated compression slot. There's a, a way to put some blocking pins that, that then can be placed for blocking screws. And what that is, is basically decreasing the effective diameter of the tibia. Now blocking screws can be used either proximally or distally, with the idea being is in a mid shaft, the nail will essentially reduce your fracture. Proximally and distally, 
you have to be a little bit careful about angulation of the tibia. So for instance, on the blocking screws, you know, you can use the awl, you put the uh, jig that attaches to it. The idea is that you want to put a screw posterior to the uh, nail so that piece that's in the piece, the proximal piece, when it tries to kick up, that screw that goes across there will hit the nail and prevent that apex anteriorly that you can see. On the AOS app, you can get all the information you need on any of our products. It's a good idea to study up on all the sizes and availability so that you can answer those questions when talking to a surgeon. Also, surgical techniques and other videos are available for you there.